So guys, apparently Skellic has a soul burst in the brand new Lumion Legacy UMB update. I've been doing a few UMB dives myself, and as you can see, I got the Skella burst. At least that's what I think it's called. When I heard about this, I I didn't believe Skellic got a soul burst because just why Skellic? Let me just exit this right now. I just started this UMB dive, but I'm just gonna end it. It's like out of all the UMB guys, why Skellic? It, I get it, like it it's probably like the weakest UMB Lumion, but I don't know a Skellic. Soul Burst doesn't sound that interesting to me. That might be just me, but maybe if like Colossatrops got a Soul Burst, that might have been kind of sick. But hey, I actually have a Gamma Skellig that I did end up getting a while ago, and I do want to try out its Soul Burst because hey, you know, why not? I, I think I actually got this myself, right? No, I didn't. I feel like I did at one point, but maybe I traded it off, and now I got a uh, Dragon X Tempest one. Okay. <laughs> When you're auto hunting, you're like chasing your own tail. I like that. All right, but I guess let's try out Gamma Silver Skellic. I forgot to equip it. Oh my gosh, dude. All right, Ample. This is almost like a baby Skellic. Not really, but it's still like a little fish lumen. But I guess let's go for Solber. He headless rush, heedless rush. Hopefully, he has his own custom animation because some of them do and some of them don't. This would be cool if it did. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about a Skellic Silver. Wait, it's purple. Oh, okay. So Gamma Skellic is like black and pink, but when it soul bursts, it's purple. It didn't have a custom animation, unfortunately. Dude, this, okay, it actually looks cool. I like soul burst Skellic. Probably not my least favorite soul burst. I just think that Skellic is such a random Lumion to get it. Even though it sucks at PvP, it makes sense why it has it. It's just, we'll also have an Alpha Skellic too. We'll have its pre-evolved form that I'm gonna have to Train up. Oh my gosh, dude. I don't have enough power fruits, dude. I'm gonna have to go to the battle call scene. Buy some power fruits. I didn't really want to do this, but I guess I'm gonna. Dude, Alpha Skellic is so ugly. Oh, dude, this guy better look good with Soul Burst because, uh, as normal, he's kind of ugly. Still kind of ugly, but you know, it's better than normal Skellic, I think. Maybe. I don't know. The color scheme works a little bit better on Silver Skellic than normal Skellic. I'll say it. But yeah, that's brand new Silver Skellic. I've just been doing a lot of UMB dives lately. I'm trying to get all the brand new Lumians. I, so far, I haven't revived any, but I'll revive them once I get all the Titans. Probably, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this update. I think this is a pretty nice update because, uh, of course, it didn't add any story, but it does permanently add to two underrated features in Lumion Legacy. Both the UMV and the Arcade both got pretty significant updates, which gives you a lot more reason to come back to these uh, pretty forgotten areas. Now, we just need, like, the Gobby Bond to get a permanent upgrade. It, it Gobby Bond was kind of useful in the 2023 Rainbow event, which was cool, but we need, like, some permanent change, like some Alpha Tier 3 Gobby. That'd be a great addition to the Bob's Bond. I don't know what other features really need to be touched on in Lumion Legacy, though. So let me know what features you think should be updated in Lumion Legacy, and maybe they'll do it in the future. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna catch you guys later.